Hello, I'm Epix, so yeah, and welcome back to the video. So Minecraft is one of the most amazing games that has ever existed because it gives you the freedom to do pretty much anything you want in the game. However, over the course of playing a lot of subscribers realms, I've realized that a lot of people take this ability to do whatever they want and they do the wrong thing. That's right, you might think in a game where there's infinite possibilities, there is no wrong option, but there is actually in fact a lot of wrong options and I figured I'd tell you what they are in today's video so you can avoid making the same mistakes as a lot of people seem to do. So please do like this if you do like it because it helps out the channel and let's say you do enjoy this whole video, but let's get straight into the very first mistake which everyone seems to make because even if you just google minecraft house every single result that comes up is going to be the same kind of like oh this is vaguely square or maybe rectangular house uh if you make an exactly square house it looks really really ugly but it's just the default thing people do and although you can make a you know a square house look better and better and better the truth is if you want to make a better looking house just don't make it exactly square even even minecraft villages like you know the most basic structures in the game even they realize this and they have slightly t-shaped houses and they have like again they have different shaped houses because they realize that squares aren't necessarily the best and that's why uh, if you look at my house over there in the distance you can see how the house in fact again from this angle it looks kind of squarish but it's actually a different kind of shape uh, there's a whole bunch of things you can do to like again make buildings better but the number one tip is just like don't make anything in Minecraft square unless it's like jokingly square to look bad I've got a few examples of that um, but if you just make it any shape you know if it's a really ugly shape like what it what is this shape this makes no sense but just because it's not square it looks better and that's something uh, that I find to be true the uh, the old place this is uh, definitely true is when it comes to flags you know when you see flags and people's Minecraft worlds, everyone seems to do a flag this way. They're like, oh, let's grab some fence poles and let's grab some, you know, like some wall, some concrete, whatever it has to be, and let's put that there. And although this makes a very nice French flag or Pepsi logo, depending on how you want to see things, although it makes a nice French flag, sure, uh, the truth is when you have a just flat square on the top of the thing, it looks really out of place and ugly. And I've got, again, although Minecraft is a game which is square and stuff, there's still something really out of place about this when you compare it to a flag which just goes diagonally even, again, just exact same thing where we're just like, oh, what if we went diagonally? this time the Russian flag here which again I mean there's the French flag just going straight here is a diagonal Russian flag as you can see it looks like a real flag does you never see a flag that's just like perfectly straight you see it fly in the wind a bit so there you go there's how you make flags or you can even make it not perfectly like diagonal this is like a little bit of a curve for a Swedish flag and even though it's an ugly flagpole again the flag looks better if you do it that way and if you're gonna do something again that's meant to represent paper represent something thin that can fly around a lot especially a flag you gotta kind of I guess match it to the thing so yeah perfectly square perfectly rectangular things you you get a real issue if you do them too much and uh, you don't do any extra like rounding on them and there you go there's a little fun fact that everyone seems to do uh that again even I, I, I do this sometimes but it's not a good thing it's an easily corrected thing that you can make things so much better with so the next thing that every minecraft player seems to do is their lighting wrong so let me talk about uh, lighting in minecraft because the way lights work is they have a light value that is again tied to where you place the thing so with a uh, glowstone it's 15 and then every block away from the light it goes down one if you have anything below seven then mobs can spawn. So the reason that having lighting in your ceiling, which uh, again, some people really put lighting in their ceiling, or having lighting on your walls is a bad idea, is because even though it allows you to see, you know, it gives you light, the truth is light in Minecraft is about stopping mobs from spawning. So if you put lights in the ceiling, you are wasting your light because again, like I said, it goes 14 and then 13, 12, 11, etc. That means that down here, you've essentially got a much weaker light and you have to have so many more lights to stop mobs from spawning. So if you want to stop mobs from spawning, place your lights either on the floor or in the floor. Don't place them in the ceiling like this because even though this helps you see it doesn't stop the mobs from spawning and if you're playing survival which is you know what minecraft is really uh then you want to avoid that so yeah this is how you should do lights instead do a perfectly diagonal route every seven blocks of glowstone or every six of uh, torches and just have them be in a perfect diagonal pattern that's how you stop mobs from spawning and uh, even though doing that inside is kind of tricky sometimes at least at the very least you can place them on the floor because otherwise you have to place a lot more because for instance even this right here you'd figure like oh there's like glowstone you know there glowstone there this place must be safe no this block in the middle here can have mobs spawn because they're in the seat on the seat or they're not in the ceiling they're in the walls uh, and not on the floor so yeah there you go everyone places close and first second of all actually everyone loves glowstone so much i've never understood why but people love glowstone as a light source and personally i prefer torches so yeah everyone uses uh, glowstone and i don't know i personally am not a big fan so the next thing that every player my minecraft player has is the issue of the unsorted chest so again at the very best there are labeled chests but most of the time you just get a chest that's like a, oh what's going on there kind of thing and although you know we'll take a down pick and you know I'm sure we'll find other stuff in there uh, the truth is this is something everyone does and you know I, I would say like oh there should be a solution to this but I think honestly Minecraft itself should just have a solution a lot of other chess based games they have like a, a toggle that'll be over here that's just like sort by item name that should be in Minecraft because I'm gonna be honest I hate sorting chess I'm not gonna tell you to do it because yeah, you know it's not fun you don't need to do it yeah. unlike the square the square flagpole where I totally recommend just make it diagonal like a real flag you know what just like 
what you should do with your chests is just like break them open every now and then and like put them in hoppers or something. I don't know. You have an automatic sort machine, a bunch of ideas, but I think there should be an automatic sort button, which would be a bit better in my opinion. So uh, the next thing that every Minecraft player seems to do uh, is with their, you know, powered rails. So, uh, again, I've been making railways a lot, and I know, again, in my railways, again, that, I didn't say I'm not being a hypocrite here, but um, when you place, uh, when people place down their rails, they place down the thing next to the rails, and there's something about this that is just so uh, ugly to me. Like, it looks kind of primitive and stuff. So, if you want to have a minecart that goes either along the ground or just somewhere like this, uh, pro tip, you can actually place things underneath. Also, everyone always uses levers, which really annoys me. Like, you know, if you have a lever, then someone can just go here and turn it off. If you have a redstone torch, you have to break it to turn it off, which not everyone can do. So yeah, don't use levers. Something about that really like bugs me and like gets me the wrong way. And also, if you're gonna use uh, you know any block, place it underneath. So if you use levers, you can place it on the block underneath like this, which again, don't recommend, but at least it's out of the way. Uh, or you can use redstone torch on the block underneath, and then it looks like the ma the rail is just powering itself magically. So I don't know, people don't seem to do this, but yeah, you should. And uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that's like mildly annoying to me, where I'm like, oh, why are you using levers to power your track? And why is the lever on the side of the track and not underneath? It. And there you go. Now, now you know one of the things that really irks me that everyone seems to do. So, uh, now the final couple of things that everyone seems to do are: first of all, uh, when people have beacons, they make it all from the same material. Like, oh, I'll make it entirely from iron because it's the easiest material. But the truth is, you can actually pretend your beacon is much fancier than it is by hiding the. Because um, a beacon can be made of different blocks. You can combine them. So we want we can you know remove this uh, diamond block here, replace it with an iron block, for instance. Because uh, unlike a lot of people seem to think, you don't need to make a beacon out of the same resource blocks. It just has to be all made from resource blocks in general. So this means you can actually pretend you made a beacon entirely out of diamond by having it made from a little bit of iron on the inside. And also if you're in creative anyway, so you don't care about using up different iron, uh, diamonds and stuff, what you can do then is you can make it like a cross between diamonds and gold and emeralds and you can make some like interesting designs that people never seem to do like this. So uh, yeah, the, the final couple of things that people seem to not do is first of all, this this one bugs me a little bit, but uh, no one ever has clouds turned on in Minecraft. Like, have you ever looked at the Minecraft sky without them? It looks really dull and boring. It's just light blue, but if you turn on clouds suddenly Minecraft looks like that And I know it's really annoying when you get to exactly Y120, you know Like I think it's Y104 or something when you get to the sky cloud level and you're like Oh now I can't see properly But it's four blocks in your Minecraft world that you can't see properly and in exchange you get to see like these beautiful clouds And honestly what I do is I like I, I turn it on for like my videos and stuff Because it makes them look a little bit better and then I'll always turn it off when I get annoyed like oh I'm not dealing with this again, but I still think you should deal with it because they you know They look kind of nice and they they add to the Minecraft each Charm, the square kind of aesthetic that I'm sure uh, makes a lot of us like Minecraft. So the final thing that I feel like every Minecraft player does that maybe maybe we shouldn't do is just accepting the first horse you get. So we don't know horses are one of the most complex and I guess ridiculous mechanics in Minecraft, right? Like oh yeah, they have random random values of health, random values of jump height, random values of speed, and uh, a lot of people would just be like oh okay, I hopped on a horse. I guess this is how fast horses go. Wow, it's not that fast. But the truth is you actually can uh, you know uh, get different horses. You can breed them together if you wanna you know. Base it on your existing horse, or you can just keep spawning in new horses until you get the perfect horse that you want. And this is why I recommend you do, uh, you know, in survival, because uh, if, if you have the mob uh, camp spawn, because if you, um, you know, if you just accept your first horse, I have a garbage horse right here. This horse sucks at jumping. This horse sucks at running. Like it's got an okay run speed. And if you look at its health, it has what is that? Like eight separate health bars when he can get up to fifteen, or you know, he has sixteen health when he can get up to thirty. Uh, this is like this is one of the worst horses you can get. And a lot of people just be like, oh, I guess that's how my horse. But if you're gonna have a horse in Minecraft, work out what you need in the horse. Do you need jump speed? Like, oh, do you wanna jump up really fast? Then, you know, make sure you get jump speed in the horse. Do you wanna have, um, you know, if you instead of wanting to have jump speed, you could want uh, to have, uh, you know, like speed in, in itself. If you wanna have, you, you gotta pick something you want in a horse, and I'd recommend even building a horse pedometer. Again, this is a real thing you can make. It measures the speed of your horse, and uh, yeah, you can, maybe you should do that, but like have some process in there, rather than just accepting the first horse, because a lot of people have horses that just suck. They're Basically, uh, like, you know, this horse right here, it's barely faster than running. And although it saves me the, let, let, let me show you. So this is me riding the horse, and this is me this is me sprinting the same distance. It's barely faster, and you can get a horse that goes literally almost double the speed of your run. I think actually double the speed of your run. Uh, so yeah, go, go ahead, breed some horses, uh, tame some horses, do whatever you gotta do, but don't use the default horse, because they usually suck. So there you go, there are uh, a bunch of things that people in Minecraft, every every Minecraft player seems to do. I hope you did all enjoy the video. I hope you got something from it, um, like if you did like like it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe to your antics. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.